And as I, as I was, we were saying that the Lord, the Lord our God, has never gathered his children in vain. Praise be to God. It's not in vain that you are seated there. Praise be to God. There are a lot of places we could be. Praise be to God. It takes the hand of God to be where you are. Praise be to God. That's why David is saying, even if I go to hell, your hand will still get me. Praise be to God. For you to come here, it has taken the hand of God. Praise be to God. There is nowhere you can go that the Lord cannot find you. And you being here is because of the mercies of God. Praise be to God. And, and, and the, the, the scripture is saying that, that, that it is God who worketh in me. Praise be to God. It is God who is working in Oliver. It is God who is working in you. Praise be to God. It is God who is working in each and every one of us, both to will and to act. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. And Jesus continues, uh, and, and he says in the, in, in the book of John 14, verse 10, that, that the word I speak, they are not of my own authority. Praise be to God. But the Father who is living in me, praise be to Jesus, he's the one doing this work. He's the one speaking through me. But I was if he were. And, and I'm telling you that, that, the, that our God is working in us. Praise be to God. He's working in us to his will and for us to act. Praise be to God. And, and, and another version in Asemanga, that is in uh, Philippians chapter, chapter, chapter 2, verse 13. Philippians 2, 13. 2, 13, it says that it is God who is working in us both. Ah, thank you, thank you. That this is Paul is saying that for it is God who works in you. Praise be to God. I want you to touch yourself and tell, tell yourself, it is God who is working in me to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. And for so long, for so long, ever since I was young, I always thought, Ukisoma okay, Biblia, you, 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 the, the, the story of the Old Testament are so amazing. Praise be to God. And I could read about Elijah. I could read about David. Praise be to God. I could read about Daniel. And I used to admire those men. Praise be to God. And I used to tell myself, I will naiza penda kuwa kama Daniel. Praise be to God. Naiza penda kuwa kama Elijah. Praise be to God. Naiza penda kuwa ka, ka, ka Elijah. Praise be to God. Because they were moving in a mighty way. Praise be to God. But God opened up my eyes. Praise be to God. Those men were in the old covenant. Praise be to God. But me, the Bible says that the, the presence of God was always over them. But for us who are in the new covenant, the presence of God, we have the indwelling presence of God. Praise be to God. We are working at a point of advantage. Yet they were moving in a mighty way. They were working at a point of disadvantage. Praise be to God. That's why the Bible says that at one time, the presence of God would come in a mighty way that would make Samson and achukua a jawbone, praise be to God, and anawa the Philistines. But the Bible is saying that the presence of God came over him. Praise be to God. And I was wondering, my, I, was, I was thinking myself that, how about other times? Praise be to God. In that time, Alinoa, praise be to God, the presence di Aiko Kuja, praise be to God. But for us, for us, we are in a point of advantage. Praise be to God. We are in a point of advantage. If you know who you are, if you, I knew who I am as Oliver, if I knew who I am, praise be to God, I am in a point of advantage for the Lord is working in me. In me. So you can't shika that concept. He is in me. Praise be to God. He is in me. Praise be to God. And he's working for his good purpose. Praise be to God. And now in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 16, Paul is, Paul is trying to, to, to let them know what is this great calling you have been called. What is the hope of this calling you have been called? Praise be to God. And Paul is, 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 is speaking to the church of Ephesus. Ephesians chapter 1 verse... Ephesians 1 from verse 16. And for us, we can start from verse 18. And Paul is actually is making a prayer that they may understand who they are. They may understand the hope of which they have been called. And Paul is saying that, I pray that your eyes, that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glory, inheritance, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. Praise be to God. And his incomparable great power for us who believe. Praise be to God. 
And, the, and now Paul is saying that who, that he uh, that the, that he exacted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. Praise be to God. Paul is actually saying that anaomba this church. Praise be to God. Wafunguliwe macho ya kiroho. Praise be to God. Wajue to the hope of this calling they have been called. Praise be to God. And Paul is saying that they may know this great hope of their calling. Praise be to Jesus. And, and it takes the hand of God for you to know who you are. Praise be to Jesus. It takes the hand of God for you to actually not see Bafikra, but even to your spirit to actually to be in line with what God has said about you. Praise be to God. That your spirit has actually believed. Your spirit has actually known. Because we have not been called to preach to men. We have been called to preach to the spirit and the souls of men. Praise be to Jesus. What to what Aisha, but the spirit and the soul of men, itabakia. And Paul is saying that your eyes of your heart, this heart is the spirit, that they may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you. Praise be to Jesus. And do you know how? Do you know what it took for us to be called in this hope? God is saying the book of, in the book of uh, Romans 8 that God did not even spare his son. Not just his son. He says that his only begotten son. At one time, Jesus was the only begotten son. And the Bible is saying that he could not spare him. He could not. So that I might have this hope of his calling. I might have this hope of who I am. Praise be to God. And the Bible says that in, in the same book of Romans, it says that, that we know that from him, he became the firstborn of many brethren. You are a brethren. Wait, wait, you, that's why on Twitter, my brothers, he's not mistaken. He, he forsook the title of the begotten and he took the title of the firstborn. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. And now, uh, verse 29, verse 29, you can, Romans 8, verse 29. Praise be to God. And now Paul is saying that God could not spare his son because of this calling. That for those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. That he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. The firstborn. He's my brother. Praise be to God. He forsook the title of the begotten son so that I might have the title of a son. Praise be to God. Now, now we, have, we as a church, we have not reached a point of grasping. That's why the Bible is saying that the world is still eagerly waiting for the manifestation of the sons, of the sons of God. Praise be to God. He is the firstborn son. Ukisoma Revelation 1, Revelation 1 verse 6 in Asemanga, that Christ, praise be to Jesus, I want you to understand that he forsook the title of the begotten so that you might be a son. Praise be to Jesus. Revelation 1 verse 6. And he made to us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his God, his God and Father to him be the power forever and ever. And for Abba, Abba Mbele Nasema that he was the firstborn for us to become kings and priests. Verse 5. And Asema, he was the firstborn. Praise be to Jesus. And, and now, Apa, Apa, this is where we have been getting it wrong. Praise be to God. And from Jesus Christ, who is, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of, of the earth, to him he loves us, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Undashika concept, the firstborn. Praise be to Jesus. And what we I I was so I was so moved. I, I you know, you could, there's, there's a way una somanga neno ya bwana una shindwa. How David could and I said Gonga a mighty man with a stone. And I was like when I was young I, I always desired because I am dog. You could visualize him as, as small as I am. Praise be to God. And I was saying that there's a capability in God. At our to a dog or God could use them. Praise be to Jesus. And now, but God opened up my eyes that. I'm more than David. Bonaiso asifiwe. Bonaiso asifiwe. You are more than David. You are more than Deborah. 
Hello, bona iso sifiwe. You are more than Abigail. Praise be to God. You are more than Joshua. Praise be to God. And that's why Jesus is telling them that they were waiting to hear this word. Then you must hear sahi. Praise be to God. And let me tell you, if we have come here to show forth, to show forth the glory of our God, but the Bible is saying that we must first of all manifest a son. See, Wana. Praise be to God. Praise be to Jesus. Not just children, not just people of God. We are a man of God. We are not a man of God. We are sons. It's a good title, a man of God. It's a good title. But the, Bible, the, the creation is not waiting for a man of God. It's not waiting for a woman of God. Because the Bible is saying that the whole earth is his, and all that dwelleth in it, it is his. But the Bible is saying that it is the, the creation. And the creation is even the soil, even the buildings. Everything is waiting for the manifestations of the sons. Not children. Not children. But as if you were, Mdodo ni anasema, kwa wea ni wanani, mimi ni wadadi, kesho anasema, mimi ni wamam, mimi ni wabradhangu. Ju haja shika, haja shika the knowledge of truly who he is. Itafika a time ajue, I'm not just of my mom, I'm, I have my own identity. Praise be to God. And that's why the Bible is saying that, that, that to them who are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons, because it's the Spirit who give us the knowledge to know who we are. Praise be to Jesus. And this is the great calling. This is the hope of our calling. Praise be to Jesus. And now the Bible is saying that, praise be to God. There are two aspects from the, from the scripture we have read. That we have been made kings and priests. Praise be to God. Na kwambia Elijah angekuja huku, ama David akuja hapa, anaiza tupiga makofi. I can assure you of that. He would slap us because hatujui sisi ni nani. Praise be to God. David was a king and he was a mighty king. But akikuja kwa kwa do you know who you are? Unaona venye unamshanga mtu ajue. That's what he would do to you. Because they wish they were in this time. And the Bible is saying that the, the least. John was the greatest, but the least is greater than John. Praise be to God. Karatina is waiting for sons. Praise be to God. The creation is waiting for sons. Praise be to Jesus. Obadiah is saying that from Zion, the river shall come. We are from Zion. Paul is saying that our citizenship is from heaven. If we could only understand the hope of this calling, if we only could understand the position we are seated, do you know why the Bible says that we are seated with Christ at the highest place? Because we are sons. We are not children. We are not men of God. We are not women of God. We are sons. And sons, when I was we principalities are beneath us. All demons are beneath us. Praise be to God. When I was and abo wewe wewe kakitu kwa kikuja unakojia unakojia wacha nikimbilie pasi. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? And let me tell you that we perish because we lack of knowledge. That's what the Bible says, isn't it? The Bible says that we perish because we lack knowledge. And let me tell you, if naza kuwa a millionaire na sijui, nitabakia ku, nitabakia kuwa puwa. Sinu kweli? That's the truth. If, 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 I have a, if, if I have a billion, billion dollars in my account and I don't know it, nitaidelea kubaki kwa street. It's about knowledge. It's about knowledge. Praise be to God. And, and let me tell you that, that in my family, as long as Oliver liveth, the deliverer shall come. Praise be to God. In this country, in my generation, as long as I liveth, the deliverer shall come. Praise be to God. And, and Isaiah is saying that because of Zion's sake, I cannot keep quiet. Until I see the vindication of Jerusalem. Praise be to God. I don't know Kenya umekuja hapa. And it's amazing. It's amazing. We, we got a good reception from our pastors. They have been bonus was if you were. It's amazing. To share what we Praise be to God. 
it's amazing, but you must manifest. You must manifest as a son. Na hapa son si ati juweni mwanamke. You are a son. You are an heir. But the Bible is saying that as long as the heir, an heir is underage. Do you know what's underage? Underage is, is matters of knowledge. Si miaka. Uneza, kuna mtu uneza wakoka leo na atupite. There's, there's something apostle says that in this kingdom overtaking is allowed. Sini ukweli? In this kingdom of taking is allowed. Kuna mtu atawakoka leo na atupite. Tumekuwa tukisik, tumekuwa tukinena ndimi, vitu mingi. But uh, the knowledge he has of who he is. Please be to God. Please be to Jesus. Yani Elisha, this, rajua jeri kwa ilikuwa mekasiwa. But Elisha anasema neno inakuwa healed. Na hei uga, unasemanga kwenye tunakitu waziza angi. Ati kuhituko tijuma kiedo kiega. No wakwele. Do you know who you are? You are, you are a son, a king, and a priest. Tumeshika adi hapo. You are a son, a king, and a priest. Please be to God. And, 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 and Peter is saying that in, Peter, in, in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2, that, that we have been called as priests. So that we may offer acceptable sacrifices. But let me tell you, you cannot offer a sacrifice if you have the knowledge of Saul. Najwa Saul ali offer sacrifice because ali yogopa watu watamuacha. Praise be to Jesus. You must be, have the knowledge of who you are. Saul was a king, but he could not offer sacrifice because he was not a priest. Ay, 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 ay. But you are able to, you can offer sacrifice and you can make a decrease. Me and my children, we shall serve the Lord. You have offered them as a sacrifice. You can say, me and my body, I shall serve the Lord. Now, unasema, there shall be righteousness in me. There shall be righteousness in my family. Praise be to Jesus. Because you are not just a priest. You offer sacrifice and then you make decrease. And let me tell you, Aki, Aki, Aki David angeshuka. Aki David angeshuka nini? Tunge pigwa makofi sana. We would be slapped heavily. Wanesu wa sifiwe? Praise be to Jesus. If Elisha angeshuka, na yeye, in, yeye alikufa, na watu wanekelewa in his grave, and people are still resurrecting. If angefufuka, angekuslap. Akuulize, do you know who you are? Is to bring the consciousness of who you are. Praise be to God. And Paul is saying in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, from verse 16. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. Paul is saying that to, to the one we are an aroma that brings death. To the other, an aroma that brings life. And who is equal to such a task? Yani anasema an, an, statement and then anaweka a rhetorical question. Praise be to God. He's saying that to some, we are an aroma that brings to de death. If una ugonjo unasema, I declare death in you. Praise be to Jesus. And, and Paul is saying, in, in, in the same book of Corinthians, there are many gods that blind the, the minds of men from believing the gospel. You can't declare death in them. Unasema, is the miungus the tradition? They have no power over the people of Karatina. They have no power over my family. Praise be to Jesus. You are waiting until Ukujapa delivered from, from, from bloodlines to the altars. Bloodlines to the nini. You have the life of Christ. You can declare that whatever I took from a bloodline that is not of God, I declare it is finished. Praise be to God. Praise be to Jesus. But as long as you are saying without, from a position that you do not know who you are, utashita ukinenea. Praise be to God. Manaiso wa sifiwe. Azura shinyango kisema, heo, ni katwe kitovu. Praise be to God. You have, Paul is saying that you have the aroma to say death to eat. And the Bible is saying that, that when you, you came to Christ, you became a new creature. Praise be to God. Na hapa tunashinanga tukipigana na vitu mingi. Aki tunapianga mapasi wetu kazi mingi ngumu. Praise be to God. Tunapia kazi ngumu. Kazi ngumu. The, 
like, I like this team a lot. I went for a mission, and we were with Mam Peris here. Hey, ninge wa ubiria, wakisema na taku kubali Yesu, sikuwa na that belief, ati naweza mulit kwa ombila toba, na hita Mam Peris na koikai, wa muombe, because nime muhubiria, but I still feel Oliver is hajafika, praise be to Jesus. Koikai ya kanotis, wakanotis, wakafika place wakaniambia enda pale peke yako sasa. I cannot call them because they have people. Praise be to God. And now, my brother Sami, I, I love Sami a lot. Akasema, sila, ati, unajua tunasemanga, mtu wa kitaka kuombe, unamuletea our, our, our leaders. Bwana isu wasifiwe. And then he pushed us. Praise be to God. He pushed me. Nijue that I, I myself, I carry the life-giving spirit in me. Praise be to God. You need people like that in your life. You need the Holy Spirit to quicken you, to know who you are. Praise be to God. Sasa ukinyongwa usiku, utagwajia pastor karanja afike. Si utaku umeenda. Na hakuna mtu wanaenda in Jesus name. Mwanaisi wa sifiwe. There are battles you have to fight for yourself. Praise be to God. Uta, our, he's so powerful. Mwanaisi wa sifiwe. Praise be to Jesus. And, but, but he desires. Hata kitukue spoon fed. It's not the desire of our pastor. It's not the desire of this ministry. If you, are, if you are in this, as long as you are in Kingdom Seekers, lazima ujue kujitegeme. That's why, ato kinda heaven's gate, unabiangwa nini, hakuna kuwekelewa mikono. Because you have to, to have to have the know-how that you carry yourself deliverance in you. Kila time ukiombewa, ukiombewa, bonaisu wa sifiwe, utakuwa, utakuwa, nitangwa aje, utakuwa so used to eat. Praise be to God. Bonaisu wa sifiwe, but he desires, oh my Jesus, he desires us to, 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 under, to understand and to know the hope of this calling. Praise be to God. And I'm telling you that the creation is eagerly awaiting. Praise be to God. Sijui ni miungu gani zimekua zikinena huku. Kwa naiso asifiwe. Praise be to God. Sijui hizo hizo hiyo damu ya maumau ilisema nini. Wanasema tusiguze mulima, but we come from Mount Zion. Praise be to God. We come from Mount Zion and we are establishing the mountain of God in this place. Praise be to God. We come from the mount of the Mount Zion. Praise be to God. And the river runs shall come. Now kuna kupa again. For if God is for me, who can be against me? Praise be to God. If God is for us, it doesn't matter the tradition of God's. It doesn't matter the tradition calls which have been blinding people. Wanaona ati, 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 nilisikia ku, ku puke Jesus out. How? How? We are declaring that he's going to die in Jesus' name. Praise be to God. Bonaiso wa sifiwe. Bonaiso wa sifiwe. Because we are a royal priesthood. We are a chosen nation. Praise be to God. Bonaiso wa sifiwe. Bonaiso wa sifiwe. And we must show forth the goodness of our God. Praise be to God. And, and, and when, when Paul is saying that we have been called as firstborn son, do you not say we emulate that? That's why Paul is saying, follow me as I follow Christ. So we are following Christ because we have to emulate the image of Christ. So where is Sitamani, David? Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Praise be to Jesus. You are, God desires you to be like Christ. And the Bible is telling me that where Jesus went, ah, my goodness, where Jesus went, goodness followed, healing followed, the dead came to life. Praise be to God. That's who I am emulating. He's my firstborn. Praise be to God. When I was a few, I think one Mukikuya Aliko Aliko now Funuo, Atitume Fuata Jaba. Praise be to God. Come and see this man. Ay, my goodness. Come and see this man. If you know who you are, praise be to God. Praise be to God. You carry the life-giving spirit in you. For the Bible is telling us that whoever is connected with God, they are one spirit. Praise be to God. And, and, and you cannot do, go to declare freedom if your mindset haijafunguka, if hujajua wewe ni nani, Praise be to God. Utaenda umuseme amekombolewa. But because huna authority, because authority is from the mind. That's why, ata, 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 ata nini? Ata, 
uh, repenting, first of all, comes from the mind. That's the first step. The mind. Praise be to God. Who tenda kuambia mtu? I declare, I'm casting out demons. Itajamaza na utasema ametoka. Praise be to God. Inaone, sasa hii authority. Praise be to God. And this is the identity crisis we are having as a church. As the body of Christ. Praise be to God. Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? My, my, my brother, who are we? Because we are brethren. We are brethren. Who are we? Praise be to God. And the Bible is telling us that to them who shall know their God. Oh my Jesus. To them who shall know their God. They shall be strong. They shall do great exploit. Praise be to God. For you are not speaking under your own authority. But, the, but our God who is in you is speaking through you. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. He's making you to act. He's making you. He's working in you to act. To will and to act. Praise be to God. He's putting his good desires in you so that you might act. Praise be to God. So it's not in vain. Praise be to God. Praise be to Jesus. And the Bible was telling me that in Mark, in the book of Mark, that, that to them who shall believe, praise be to God, great things shall follow them. Praise be to God. And I had, I feel a burden in me, I can be a God. Help, help me to believe. Help me to believe. What an yamini. And there's this man in the book of Mark and Semanga. Do you believe that I can cast out this demon? And Semanga, yes, I believe. But help me in my unbelief. Praise be to God. And I was telling God, why I, I, I went to pray for somebody, a, a, a pony. Unfortunately, she did not get well. And, and I felt bad. I felt the burden in my heart. Nilikuwa ni mewaka. Nilikuwa ni mewaka. Unajua ni ile unasema, eh, naezafanya hivi. I had so much confidence. Praise be to God. I had not confidence but faith in me. Praise be to God. But, but now God akanikumbusha that did, actual, did I actually believe it in my mind? Praise be to God. I'm telling you authority comes from the mind. When you know who you are. When you believe it. When your spirit and your soul believe it. They are speaking in one language. You have the authority of Christ. And the Bible is telling us that to them who shall believe Ah, my goodness. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall cast out demons. Praise be to God. But to Metosheka Sana, Sisu Ashirika, because Nongyanga and Dimi. There's more in the Holy Spirit than speaking in tongues. I was speaking to a pastor, Kasema, that this is at a small church. Praise be to God. And I admired the, the, the spirit in him. Hako contented. Praise be to God. Because that's our greatest obstacle as believers. We are so contented. We can all testify. And I had this desire, a burning desire. It was consuming every bit of me. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. So alert in the spirit that if this is the day I'm going to encounter God. I had a desire. I had a desire. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. I had, I, God, God, God had my desire. And he says that, that when you delight in him, he fulfills the desires of your heart. Praise be to God. And because you are speaking in tongues, Praise be to God. Praise be to God. There's more in the Holy Spirit than speaking in tongues. There's more in the Holy Spirit than just healing. There's more in the Holy Spirit just... just just, just, than just working out miracle. He's so unlimited. But God is saying that the things he has planned for us, even my mind, even my ears, as it has his skia, why should I limit him? Praise be to God. Why should you limit him? Praise be to God. And Paul is saying, and I can pick a place, I can a God. Why is in my generation healing zimepungua? And God akanipeleka in the book of Corinthians and Paul is saying that desire this gift. Desire this gift. It's all about desire. Kama unataka healing, desire. The same way you desire to speak in tongues. You can walk in the gift of healing. 
because you know you are you, you it is supposed to follow you so when you are desiring it you are desiring from a point of knowledge that actually god has already spoken about it so unaenda ba kusema lord i desire this but i desire in a point of that giving because it's already following me praise be to god desire desire for the lord to use you desire to manifest desire to manifest as a son desire to manifest we have been called as a we have been called as a royal priesthood to show forth the goodness of god and god is so good hakika umeonja mungu mungu ni mwema mungu ni mwema god is so good hakika nawaambia god is so good and there's so much in him but he is calling us so that we might also tell others praise be to god praise be to god lazima tufike ile place that that to go in that burden to show the goodness of who of whom we carry praise be to god ukienda kwenu hataka hawajaiokoka that's why uliokolewa you declare the goodness of god in that family in our generation will we will we sit and see our generation going in drugs going in hopelessness praise be to god we must arise for the light of god has fallen on us praise be to god and 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 and, and, and the scripture is saying that we have been called to the marvelous light of god so the light of god is already in us we must arise we must arise as sons we must arise as children of zion as deliverance of from zion praise be to god and in karatina we are arising it doesn't matter kenye tutapata we we shall live the goodness of our god we shall live the signature of our god of which it is his goodness praise be to god but we must we must desire to manifest a sons praise be to god and there's one thing which makes people to to to, to manifest in the book of ephesians chapter 5 verse 13 ephesians 5:13 that but everything exposed by the light becomes visible and everything that is illuminated becomes a light praise be to god we must have us all to, f- to find this light and the light is in us praise be to god but so much we have covered it for so long we have covered it for so long and the bible is telling na hapa kuna watu maybe i rebuke that spirit kuna mtu hata ukisikia neno anasema hiyo si yangu hiyo ni yako that's why you are here praise be to god that's your word praise be to unasema ah pana hii ni ya nani that is your word mungu angange kuleta ukue joy laida mungu atakangi hivyo akona vitu mingi za kufanya mbona akutoe huko praise be to god it is your word and the bible is telling us that the entrance the art, the entrance of the word of god blinks light and i'm declaring that the word of god through the authority of god is bringing light in upon our lives he's bringing light upon us that we know we are sons we know we are sons because as long as we remain under age because of lack of knowledge we continue to be slaves we continue to be slaves of diseases we continue to be slaves of evil altars but we serve a mighty god we are from the covenant of the blood of jesus and he's a faithful god he's a covenant keeping god that's where we come from that's who has bought us that is the god we serve praise be to jesus we must arise as sons we must we must know who we are praise be to god that's the that's the that's the hope of this calling huko kolewa ati ubaki uliokolewa praise be to god praise be to jesus huko kolewa ubaki tu ati uliokolewa you are called to do the good works of god for the police saying that he who started the good work in me it's already a good work that you got born again when i saw sifiwe and and paul is saying in the book of ephesians ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 that ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 that we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works which he had predestined for us alikuwa asha kupangia and let me tell you there is this aspect of christians that unadha nyingi ati mungu ni feel when he created you alikuwa asha ku equip with everything you need to do for your for your mandate praise be to god and when he's calling he's calling eh uh, when when he's calling when he's calling Gideon when he's calling Gideon and the funniest thing this guy was hiding 
but the bible says that mungu akumwambia ati nakuongezea na kuongezea vitu go in the strength you have so all along he had a strength in him but he had covered it he had covered it bwana yesu asifiwe na hao watu the media and they were keep on destroying the people of god and yet he was their deliverer alikuwa meificha and people are prolonging in suffering when we are still seated people are dying praise be to god we have come to ponder hell and bring them to the kingdom of god it shall not be on our watch praise be to god it shall not be on our watch that people wataendelea kuangamizwa bwana yesu asifiwe not in my watch praise be to god and let me tell you the calling of god is so personal that's why peter is saying that silver and gold we do not have but what i have because it is he who knows what he has it's not about a crowd it's what you know what you have what you know what you carry praise be to god and that's why peter is saying that what i have i give thee praise be to god in jesus name rise up and walk praise be to god you carry the life giving spirit in you praise be to god we carry the life spirit the life giving spirit in us he who does good things he who turns situations around he who saves praise be to god that's the god we serve that's the god who is in us that's the god who is working in us praise be to jesus i want us to arise in our feet and tell god may your light fall upon me may your light fall upon me those that i man i might manifest as a son karatina is not waiting for oliver it is waiting for the son of god karatina hai goje at oliver ina goje the son of god karatina hai kugoje wewe at venye uko it is waiting the son of god for you in you to manifest so tell god father manifest in me may your light through your word The word you are speaking is bringing light in me. May you manifest in me. May you manifest in me. Help me in my unbelief. Where there is unbelief in me, may you cast it out. May you cast it out. My God and my Father, you have called me to bring deliverance because my citizenship is not of this world. It is from Zion. Oh my God and my Father, may you help me, oh God. May you help me to grasp it in my spirit, in my soul, every bit of me. May you subdue it to the knowledge of who I am. May you subdue it to the knowledge of this calling you have called me. May you subdue it that I shall understand who I am in your eyes. My God and my Father, I desire to know you. I desire to know my identity in you. Oh my God and my Father, for Zion's sake we cannot keep quiet. For Zion's sake we cannot keep quiet. Oh my God and my Father, 